divisibility some more divisibility rules divisibility test for 2 if the number has 0 2 4 6 or 8 in its units place then the number is divisible by 2 divisibility test for 3 if the sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3 divisibility test for 4 if the number formed by last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 then the number is divisible by 4 divisibility test for 5 if the number has 0 or 5 in its units place then the number is divisible by 5 divisibility test for 6 if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 then it is also divisible by 6 divisibility test for 9 if the sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 divisibility test for 10 if the number has 0 in its units place, then the number is divisible by 10. Divisibility test for 11. Find the sum of the digits at the odd and even places. Find the difference between the two sums. If it is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Some more rules of divisibility. If a number is divisible by another number, then it is also divisible by each of the factors of that number. Let's see how that works. Consider this number 36. 36 is divisible by 9. 9 is divisible by 3. Is 36 divisible by 3? Yes. Consider this number 24. 24 is divisible by 8. 8 is divisible by 4. Is 24 divisible by 4? Yes. Consider this number 90. 90 is divisible by 9. 9 is divisible by 3. Is 90 divisible by 3? Yes. Some more rules of divisibility. If a number is divisible by 2, co-prime numbers, then it is also divisible by their product. Let's see how that works. Consider this number 48. Factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, 48. Pick any two factors which are co-primes. 3, 8. 48 is divisible by 3 and it is divisible by 8. 48 is also divisible by 3 into 8 which is 24. Consider this number 66. Some factors of this number are 1, 2, 6, 11, 66. Pick any two factors which are co-primes. 2, 11. 66 is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 11. 66 is also divisible by 2 into 11 which is 22. Consider this number 100. Some factors of this number are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25. Pick any two factors which are co-primes. 2 and 25. 100 is divisible by 2 and it is also divisible by 25. 100 is also divisible by 2 into 25 which is 50. Some more rules of divisibility. If two numbers are divisible by a number, then their sum is also divisible by that number. Let's see how that works. Consider the numbers 20 and 40. Both these numbers are divisible by 10. 20 plus 40 is equal to 60. Is 60 divisible by 10? Yes. Consider the numbers 35 and 55. Both these numbers are divisible by 5. 35 plus 55 is equal to 90. Is 90 divisible by 5? Yes. Some more rules of divisibility. If two numbers are divisible by a number, then 
their difference is also divisible by that number. Let's see how that works. Consider the numbers 78 and 26. Both these numbers are divisible by 13. 78 minus 26 is equal to 52. Is 52 divisible by 13? Yes. Consider the numbers 400 and 100. Both these numbers are divisible by 4. 400 minus 100 is equal to 300. Is 300 divisible by 4? Yes. Let's list the new rules again. If a number is divisible by another number, then it is also divisible by each of the factors of that number. If a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, then it is also divisible by their product. If two numbers are divisible by a number, then their sum is also divisible by that number. If two numbers are divisible by a number, then their difference is also divisible by that number.